Hey, Saxon Course 2, Lesson 96 is on estimating angles and distributive property with algebraic terms. So first it wants me to est measure, estimate the measure of BOC in this figure. So here's BOC, okay? And then use a protractor it and see how much it differs. So when we estimate an angle, we want to place the angle on the face of a clock because every minute on the clock is equal to six degrees. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the O, which is kind of our vertex, in the center, and then have one of the angles pointing straight up. So we're going to put C pointing up at the 12, and then the B is going to point at the same degree over to the side. Now if we look at where B falls on my clock, it looks like it's at about 12 minutes. Looks like it falls on the 12 minute mark. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 6 degrees and times it by the 12 minutes. And I end up with 72 degrees as my estimation. So then you would take your protractor and measure it like you've learned. And if we measured this angle we would get 75 degrees. So we were only off by about 3 degrees. So we were only off by 3 degrees here. Okay, this next one, we need to use the distributive property on these terms. So for A, we have 2 times x minus 3. So we're going to multiply the 2 by both terms, 2 times x and then 2 times the negative 3. So that's going to equal 2x minus 6. On B, it's negative 2 times x plus 3. So we distribute the negative 2 both terms and that's going to equal negative 2x minus 6 because a negative 2 times a positive 3 equals a negative 6. On C it's negative 2 times x minus 3. We distribute that negative 2 again so we get negative 2x and then a negative 2 times a negative 3 equals a positive 6. And finally, for D, we have x times x minus 3. We're still going to distribute that x the same way, but in this case, x times x is equal to x squared minus x times negative, x times 3 is 3x. Okay, on this one, to simplify, we're going to do the distributive property first to get rid of the parentheses. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 3 times x minus 2. So distributive property first. And I end up with x squared plus 2x plus 3x minus 6. Now I need to combine like terms. The only like terms I have here are the 2x and the 3x. So that's going to equal 5x. And I still have the x squared plus 5x minus 6. And that's my final answer. Okay, do it one more time. x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 2. Okay, we're going to use the distributive property. And we're going to distribute the negative 3 across. So you have to take the sign with you. So we end up with x squared plus 2x minus 3x plus 6 because the negative 3 times the negative 2 equals positive 6. Okay, combine the like terms. In this case, my like terms are the 2x and the minus 3x. So I end up with x squared minus x plus 6 because 2 minus 3 would be negative 1 so it would be negative 1x but 1 times x is equal to x. Okay and that's it for this lesson.